Hello, I'm Meredith of Field Engineer at One Energy. Welcome to today's sign short. Concrete, sand, wood, bone, all these things have something in common. They're more than the sum of their parts. Today, we're going to mix it up a little bit and discuss composite materials. A composite material is a substance produced by combining two or more materials that have different properties on their own. Sometimes this happens naturally, like how our bones are made up of collagen and calcium phosphate, and sometimes it happens by design. But why would anyone ever want to combine materials together? That's what we're going to talk about today. One benefit of composite materials is that combining two or more materials into one new material can allow us to control the characteristics of the resulting substance and create specific properties that each individual material may not have had before. For example, we can combine multiple materials that may be weak or brittle on their own and end up with a stronger or more flexible material. With composites, unlike many pure plastics, the materials being combined are not blended or dissolved within each other, so it's easy to tell the difference between them. The two types of materials used to make a composite uh, material are called reinforcement material and matrix material. The reinforcement material is any type of material with the main properties of what's desired for the resulting composite material. Examples of some reinforcement material properties are strength, weight, and stiffness. The ma matrix material, on the other hand, is a material that binds the fragments of the reinforcement materials together, kind of like a glue. A matrix material makes up the bulk of the composite material. Here at One Energy, composite materials are a part of what we do every day. For example, composite materials make up our wind turbine blades, our wind turbine foundations, and even some of the wind turbine internal components. Behind me are some of the wind turbine blades we keep in our laydown yard at the North Finley Wind Campus. These blades are made of fiberglass, which is a common composite material used in numerous industries. Fiberglass has a reinforcement material of glass fiber and a matrix material of plastic. If the turbine blades were only made of plastic or only made of glass fiber, the turbine blades would not be suitable for operation. But when plastic and glass fiber come together to become a composite material, we get the strength from the plastic and the flexibility from the glass fibers, which help create an extremely efficient and durable turbine blade. For an example of fiberglass at home, Go check out your bathtub or shower. I'm, I'm serious. Go look. I'll wait here. Oh good, you're back. Did you notice how hard and unabsorbent the material of your bathtub or shower is? That's likely because it's made of fiberglass, which is designed to have both of those properties due to its composite nature. Let's take a look at another example. Here I have a piece of lumber and a piece of plywood. Looking at the lumber, we can see that there is one clear material throughout the wood. It looks like it's been cut straight from a pine tree. On the other hand, this plywood is clearly made from multiple pieces of wood combined together as seen in the distinct layers here. When looking at the edges of the plywood, we can see that one sheet of plywood is actually made from many thinner sheets of wood stacked on top of each other. What we can't see as easily is the glue-like material keeping these sheets together. That binding material is called resin, and it's the second material in this substance, making our plywood a composite material. We have thin sheets of wood as our reinforcement material and resin as our matrix material. When combined, our composite material, plywood, takes on the strength of wood and the rigidity of resin to make a material that can be used in all sorts of situations. See if you can find anything made of plywood around your house. Composites make up many materials used in contemporary construction and manufacturing due to their wide range of uses and easy accessibility. Hopefully some of these materials are concrete examples that you can find around your home. See if you can find any more composite materials in your everyday life. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember, challenge everything.